How many of you believe your surroundings shape who you are? I do. What you see, hear, learn, and know all work together to impact who you are. I will share with you the few places I have lived and how it has shaped my character, beliefs, and personality into the woman standing before you today. In this speech, I will explain how growing up in Los Angeles, moving to Hawaii, and then moving back to Los Angeles has impacted me. Born and raised in Los Angeles, specifically Inglewood, I found myself being surrounded by a lot of negativity. People were also needy. They wanted things now and not a minute later. They lacked patience. This also led to ambitiousness, which I can say is a very good thing. And then that later led to selfishness. selfishness. Ambition led for a need to show off things. Everybody had to get the new this or the new that. And if you didn't have it, best believe you would be judged for it. Being surrounded by these things definitely shaped my character and personality. I found myself to be more negative than I should given my circumstances. I was also more ambitious to go after the things that I wanted and I needed. And while I was surrounded by needy people and people who wanted to show off things, these type of things never settled well with me. Living in Hawaii, I was surrounded by patience. I learned that I might want something now, but eventually it will come when I am ready for it. I was surrounded by positivity. I learned that in order to receive good things, I must put positive things out into the world. I was also surrounded by priceless minds, people that knew how to appreciate everything that was given to them, whether it be the good, bad, or the ugly. I was also surrounded by personable people. These people taught me how to be more open. They taught me that life is not a secret. They tell me it's okay to share things with others and even strangers. One time my old coworkers, who I now consider Ohana, we all rented a house on the North Shore. We all got into the water, swimming, laughing, treading water, just chilling. One by one, everyone eventually went back to shore but I wasn't done in the water yet. I wanted to chill a little bit more. A few seconds later, I found myself talking to this random lady whom I've never met in a day, a day of my life before. We were talking about everything under the sun. You name it, we were talking about it. Eventually, our conversation did come to an end. We said, see you later, as if we had just wrote down each other's names and numbers and addresses in our phones while we were in the ocean. The things that I surrounded myself in Hawaii with impacted me for the better. I learned how to combine my ambitiousness with patience. And I learned how to turn my negative thoughts into positive thoughts. When I moved back to LA, I was surrounded by unauthentic people people who weren't being themselves and they were just putting on a show for everyone else just to impress people. I was also surrounded by unaware people, people who didn't realize that what they were doing was not sustainable for their future and for themselves. This impacted me to want the exact opposite of what I was surrounded by. I wanted to be the Aaron that I knew I was rather than the errand everyone expected me to be. I wanted to be aware of my life and my surroundings. I wanted to be aware of my thoughts so I can change them, change them in order to sustain my future. After sharing with you how the places I've been have shaped my character, beliefs, and personality, and explaining how growing up in Los Angeles, moving to Hawaii, 
and moving back to Los Angeles has impacted me, I think it's safe to conclude that I would not be who I am today if it were not for where I have been and where I am. Thank you. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask below.